gym have a good leg day I'm in a good mood man I finished what did I do started what did I do today I was editing a vlog I did an Instagram post which led into also a TikTok post and I was researching and I did my marketing emails and ate breakfast obviously um started editing another vlog organized some files did all the things did some good things but now Time to go to the gym and have a good leg day. Leg day number three out of three for the week. And I have the event tonight where I'm gonna sweat on the ship. That's gonna be interesting. More, I'm taking my camera. I don't. I will tell her. I'll be like, hey, I'm a vlogger. Like, I'm taking my camera. We're gonna have a good time. <laughs> so I will see you soon. Gotta walk. Thing one and thing two, and just we're gonna have a good day. Okay, we are at the gym. I'm gonna go hit glutes and hamstrings. And then, I actually have to go to Publix. I need to go to Costco, truthfully. But, don't think I'm gonna have the time to do that today. So, tomorrow now I'm doing a photo shoot too. So this is gonna be a busy, busy weekend. I probably will, com actually, I don't know. Maybe I'll combine Saturday and Sunday. If you're watching this, you're gonna be watching, whatever. I don't know yet. I'm thinking about it. Um, but yeah, let's go work out. <laughs> I want to get, I'm in here. I'm starting to get here earlier, which I like. I really like being here earlier. Um, so I'm going to go get my workout in, go home. I need to stop at Publix or Harris Teeter, one or the other. Um, I won't buy my shrimp at Harris Teeter again, though. Absolutely not. I would love to find a local fish market. You know what? I'm gonna look that up in the gym. But let's go work out and do cardio and then be prepared to sweat on a ship. <laughs> Okie dokie. The workout, well, lifting is done. I'm gonna do some cardio now. And then I'm gonna go to the grocery store and go home. Um, today took a turn in the gym. And we'll talk about it once I get in the car. Because if I talk about it right now, I'm gonna cry again. So. <laughs> I'll wait till I'm in the car, but I'm gonna read my book, do some stairs, decompress, and I will see y'all in a little bit. Okay, excuse the air conditioning, it's hot right now. Although it's beautiful outside, my car is hot. Um, so, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and go home and just kinda chill until the event tonight. I thought about washing my hair yesterday, but I'm probably gonna work out in a sports bra and shorts. So, that means my hair is gonna stick to me. That means it's gonna get sweaty. And they're honest, and they just said that there's gonna be a cold plunge. So, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'll bring a towel. I don't care. I'm gonna do it. That's gonna be interesting. I haven't done one in a really, really long time. So, yeah. Let's head home. My workout was good. My cardio was good. 
I love the book I'm reading. It's really, really inspirational. So, yeah. Today was a day. Today was, um, I forgot I was gonna tell you guys what happened and why my day took a turn. So, today's May 31st. I didn't really pay attention when I first woke up, but, um, Today makes it two years since I lost Barley. I miss my dog. Definitely miss my dog. He was something special. And I would give anything to have him. Yeah, I miss my dog, <laughs> but it's just on my heart. And what's crazy is like, just the conversation I had with someone in the gym today who is no longer my friend, um, for good reason. And like, they actually said something along the lines of like me being like, well, if you keep being depressed, like you're, you're gonna attract depressive people. And I was like, what the? Like, who are you? Like, why would you say that to me? Like, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry that I have emotions. I'm not sorry that I feel. I'm not sorry that I'm sentimental. Like, I miss my dog. And that's totally okay. There's nothing wrong with me being sad. I am not a sad person, but there is nothing wrong with me being sad. And for the love of all that is good in this world, like, the amount of things that I've had to deal with since moving here, like... Shoot. Some people, man. Yeah, that person's no longer in my life. Sorry, not sorry. So, let's go to the grocery store. I ended up going to Whole Foods instead of Publix or Harris Teeter because, one, honestly, it's crazy how I used to be like, oh, it's not, I'm not a Whole Foods girl, whatever. No, the quality's 100% better. Um, another reason they have samples, so. Got some samples of some things. Protein, obviously. Um, what else? I got my zucchini and squash is cheaper there. If not the same price as Publix, but there's it's just like the quality of it looks better at Whole Foods. I'm very much aware of like looking at what I'm eating too. So hopefully my camera does it. Oh. Gonna leave that in. Oh well. Um I was at a red light, now I'm driving. But so with that being said, like it just, it looks better, the quality is better, and I'm, like I said, paying attention to what I'm eating. So, uh, I got my zucchini, got my squash, got a bell pepper, because I like getting my bell peppers at Costco, it's definitely cheaper, but, so I just got one for the morning. I got some mushrooms for the morning, because I'll go to Costco tomorrow after the gym. And then, what else did I get? Oh, my coffee creamer, I, it's literally only at Whole Foods, as far as I found. Um, it's at the Earth Fair place too by my chiropractor, but it's like a dollar more there, so no thank you. Um, I also got some of my raw smoked salmon. I had to delete some clips because I ran out of spice. But I got some raw smoked salmon for tonight because I have a feeling if I'm hungry and I get home, like obviously I'm gonna have my ice cream, but if I'm like a little overly hungry, I got some of that just to have some extra protein. And then I got I think that's it. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's it. Oh, and then more oregano oil. Because it was on sale. So, got that. But, now I get to hopefully not get stuck in the traffic that they're saying is there. Hopefully it like disperses before I get to that spot. Because I need to go home. I need to walk the dogs. I need to eat something. I need to just kind of like be with the dogs before I leave again. I always feel so bad when I'm gone all day. And I definitely didn't anticipate 35 minutes of traffic, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's, let's cross our fingers and get home soon. Okay. So, I got home, ran inside, scarfed down my protein shake, had, like, my Pr Prozis Oreos that I have, and I'm literally leaving straight on time. Woo! 
I grabbed clothes too because I am gonna do the cold plunge, I think. And so, holy guacamole. Luckily, Avalanche pooped really fast. Um, it's literally saying I'm gonna get there straight at six. So, let's freaking go. <laughs> This is so freaking cool. Oh my gosh. This is freaking awesome.
I did it probably like five days and every day I did it I looked so forward to just meeting new people and hearing people's stories about mental health and it definitely improved my life so when there's leaders around me I go to them all the time and I'm like how are you doing man like you have like this this responsibility on you and this weight to bring other people around Number two, ask others how they are doing. You guys, I had such an amazing time. That was so much fun. I feel so privileged to even have found that event and been able to go. I met really cool people, had so much fun with Katie, and just like the views and like, it was just amazing. So, so grateful. So blessed to be here, so blessed to have gone to that event and just had so much fun. But I need to go to bed. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I will probably reflect on it more tomorrow in the next one. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Um, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, stick around. God's good. <laughs>